Hello, Scorpios. How's everyone doing? Welcome to anyone who's new. Welcome to Deep Soul Tarot. My name is Kelly. Welcome to anyone who's returning and to my tribe. What's up, my tribe? All right, Scorpios. We're going to be doing your, your general energies for the month of August 2020. We'll see what might be going on for y'all in the month of August. This is a general read. So it may not resonate for all of you. So just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. And also keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So some of this that comes up in the reading may have already happened to you. Some may be happening as you're watching it. Maybe none of it has happened yet and will be happening. It just depends. So time, I mean, energies are fluid. So this is based for August 2020, but maybe everything isn't going to happen in August. So it doesn't matter when you watch this. These are timeless. All right? I would pay attention more to the title of the video than I would um, the actual timeline. Okay? This is a little bit different of a spread that I'm doing. Wait, wait. Let me think. Yes. Okay. Sorry. I had to stop and think. This is a different spread for me. So we're going to get some overall energies of the reading, and then we're going to go through... Um, it's different. If you haven't watched my videos, it doesn't matter. But if you have, it's a little bit different than I've done before. The Hermit. Okay. This is very much an introspective card. So for the month of August, Scorpios, um, for a lot of you, you may need to spend some time reflecting on your life, thinking about your direction, where your life is at right now, where you'd like to go. Just really finding out in your soul what you want for your life right now and regardless of what situation you may be in whether it's work where you're living love situation these are general reads so you can again take it as it resonates it can resonate for any situation all right so that's the energy right now so this is what you're thinking of right now this is your conscious mind so we're going to do one two three hold on we'll do three cat three cats your conscious mind is thinking about well, this is you, Scorpio. So this is very interesting. This is a Scorpio card, death and rebirth. There's a lot of noise going on around me outside and upstairs here, so I'm not sure what is going on, but there's a lot of noise. So I'm sorry if you hear some background noise. Um, there's something that you're thinking about that has either ended or you're wanting to end. But this card specifically is saying that there is some sort of ending that's going to happen in your life um, possibly in the month of August and but that's that's okay because this ending may have caused a little uh, unsettling energies for you it may be difficult for you whatever this ending may be but as you see in the bottom of the card it says death rebirth and that's the infinity symbol here so with death always comes rebirth when something ends there's always a new beginning so that's what it's meaning that you have a whole new beginning starting here Virgo a Virgo Scorpio. I saw this card. That's the Virgo card. Scorpio. I'm sorry. Um, sorry, I apologize. Okay, so what is going on that unconsciously that you may not even be aware of within you? You need to spend some time alone to think and meditate about things. You may not realize that. You may think that you are dealing with it okay. You may think that you're handling it okay. And maybe you are, but Spirit's saying, there, because with the Hermit card and now the Four of Swords, you really do need some time alone, Scorpio. And, excuse me, you need to be alone with your thoughts and your feelings. Somewhere where you feel sick. Oh, excuse me. Somewhere where you feel safe, secure, and no interruptions from the outside world. Wherever that may be for you. Whether it's at home, in your own room, maybe outside in your backyard, maybe at the beach, wherever. In nature, in the mountains, wherever that may be. Sometime where you're not interrupted by phones or people, th you know, the external things in your life, okay? All right, so this card is, this is your source of stability. This, this is what is helping you cope and get through whatever you need to right now. Eight of Pentacles. First and foremost, I'm hearing Scorpio, it may be your work. Um, maybe you're working on something. Maybe it's a project. Maybe it's a YouTube channel. Um, but something that you immerse yourself in that helps distract you from the outside world. Maybe you work on music. Maybe you're a writer. Um, but you are working on something. And maybe this just may indicate working on yourself. Maybe your self um, soul searching is helping you right now. You know? 
Um, okay, so we're going to get to uh, the next three. The next three cats here. All right. This is a whole different new spread for me that I have that I'm using right now. So I'm trying it out for this this group of readings for right now. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comments. Do you like the style? Um, is this helpful for you? Do comment. Give me a thumbs up if you do like this or if you like these monthly reads. All right. So I'm going to say that this is some sort of maybe external forces that may be it's giving you some sort of tenacity that's helping you along. Well, there's that time alone again. So what I'm hearing what's going to help you right now is just for people to leave you alone. Um, to be alone with the negative feelings you may have. Because you may feel alone. You may feel depressed right now. I'm hearing depressed. Oh, my card's all munched right there. I'm sorry. Wow. Okay, is that a cut in the card? I'm sorry, Scorpio. It's just, these aren't very old cards. So, anyways, I uh, just happened to see that little crank in the card there. Um, yes, a little OCD, sorry. Five of Pentacles. Um, you just need people to leave you alone, or maybe people are leaving you alone. Maybe they can feel that energy. Maybe that's bothering you, that people aren't extending themselves to help you. But... Here's the thing with the Five of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles is very much about feeling alone, feeling left out in the cold, a uh, possibility of feeling depressed, feeling a sense of loss. Um, but this card is saying you have the key. What you're not seeing right now is you have the key, not other people. So I'm what I'm hearing specifically, Scorpio, is you are your own source of strength. And you may not realize that. See how this is the card that's in your unconscious. You don't realize that this time alone is what's going to give you the answers. Not other people, not external forces, not even if you're focusing on work. You need to go within and really find out what you need to work through and get rid of that so you can be reborn. So the Five of Pentacles, this is the tenacity card. The, the force, the external forces, what's really giving you strength is you think other people or, or things on the outside world, externally? No, it's internally. You have the answers within. You have the key to unlock the door to your future. So you are the source of your own strength, and you, I, mean, I don't think you realize it. So your motivations, your aspirations, what is, what is moving you to move, move forward? What are you trying to aspire? There's the chariot. You just want to move forward, and you want to move forward quickly. You don't want to be stuck anymore. And... Um, so the short-term potential with this is this card here, the King of Cups. It's something emotionally is bothering you internally. All right, and the King of Cups, this is the short-term potential, the short-term energy, the things that are going to help you right now is being in touch with whatever emotions you have. It's an emotional maturity, being in tune with your emotions. You may be poo-pooing them aside. You may be focusing on um, work on being logical about things, trying to figure out what I can do here. To, but you're not really going inside and finding out what really and tr truly is what is um, driving you internally, your heart, your, your real passion. And the King of Cups is in tune with his emotions. So I'm here, you need to do that. But sometimes they may be caught in their head. But they do know what they want internally. So I'm hearing that you need to move forward. Uh, once you get in tune with that, you can start moving forward. Now, spiritually and internally, you are feeling you need to nurture your inside. You're, you're avoiding something on the inside, Scorpio. And um, I don't think you're seeing it right now. So the month of August moving forward, I think, is going to be a month of you to really, really, again, the Hermit card. This is your overall energy going within you have the answers and the strength within and the strength is within you the answers are within you it's coming from a, from a place from within now this is going to be now for the month of august we have the, the number eight position and number nine position is a strong negative and a strong positive this is going to be your biggest challenge this is going to be your biggest thing to overcome in the month of august the hierophant um it can be spiritual connection it can be the hierophant is very much a teacher 
The universe of spirit may be trying to teach you a lesson here, okay? Scorpio is trying to teach you that you are your own source of strength. You are your own source of strength. Not anybody else, not financially, not anyone else, not anything external is coming within you. The Hierophant is very much about uh, traditional and kind of like society type thing. And you may be feeling pressured to live up to what you think society expects you to do, what you think others expect you to do. And the Hierophant is trying to, to find some sort of grounded peace where you, you yourself, you see how this person is kind of alone and it's as if this person has done their meditation or they're alone and they found the answer. They found their own happiness by being alone. They found their own answer by being alone. These are the stairs that will ascend you to a higher vibration, a higher place on your own. Hence, then you can, you can incorporate other people who are more positive in your life if you don't have that. Now, this is what's going to, this is your strong uh, positive. So this is what's going to help you. The Nine of Wands. There's the tenacity, if you ask me. This is the tenacity, being um, resilient. The Nine of Wands is a, a, a point of almost giving up, okay? So the reason this is a positive is be in tune with that when you feel like you're about to give up or you feel like, I can't do this anymore. I, I can't do this on my own. That kind of thinking, that's when you need to tune into your, your emotional, internal, Empress, King of Cups, the Hierophant, spiritually. You may need to return to the universe and spirit and say, I don't know what I need to do right now. Spirit, please help me. Show me what I need to do. And spirit will. Spirit's going to tell you and show you that you have, you are your own source of strength and wisdom. Everything is within you and I don't think you're realizing it. And that's why you need to take some time out. Now, underneath the Hermit card is the sun. All right. I think that when you spend some time alone, when you spend some time being introspective, when you spend some time really finding the answers within, that's when you're going to find your happiness. So, Scorpio, I think for right now, you may be looking outside of yourself for some sort of it's almost like a quick fix. I'm looking for something externally outside of myself. That what, 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 I'm missing things in my life to make me happy. Money, love, friendship, family, whatever the case may be. Again, take it as it resonates. You're looking out here for your happiness. When, oh my goodness, I'm just throwing things here. When really, your happiness comes from within. You're your own source, strength, wisdom, happiness. And you're not realizing that. Okay, so... I'm going to clarify just a couple of cads here. We're going to do the Five of Pentacles first. Well, that came right out. That came right out there, Scorpio. And you got the Fool. I think at this point in your life, Scorpio, what I'm hearing specifically for some of you, and again, this isn't going to resonate for all of you, so just take what resonates leave what doesn't. If you want a more specific reading for you, Scorpio, I don't look down the description box. I, have, I offer personal readings. Um, they're limited because I... You know, have uh, I only take so many a month, and if it's booked up, it's booked up. So you want to book those early. But if you do need a personal reading, the information's down below. Okay, follow me on Instagram and Facebook. That information's down below too. Um, anyway, all the information is down below in the description box. But the fool. So you're worried about taking some sort of leap of faith on your own. It's a fear of doing this on your own, whatever it may be. Maybe a fear of you're afraid of being alone. You need to find your own source of happiness. This is the wish fulfillment card. So if you focus on what you want and put that wish out to the universe, spirit is going to show you what you need to know. Um, let's do the Hierophant and the Nine of Wands here. I think there's some sort of correlation between the two. And then we will get to some Oracle guidance here. Okay? All right, here we go. Here we go. The Queen of Wands, Scorpio. Well, first of all, the Queen of Wands in the Tarot is the Divine Feminine. But the Queen is Feminine Energy. Now, if you're on a Twin Flame, I do Twin Flame readings. If you're on a Twin Flame journey, this is the Divine Feminine. But this is Feminine Energy. And we all have masculine and feminine energy within us. We usually resonate with one more than the other, regardless of our physical gender. So whether if you're a man watching this, a male, 
It doesn't matter. You may resonate more with feminine energy. Regardless, though, male or female, whatever it is, this is telling you, whomever you are watching this, Scorpio, to tap into your feminine energy. Your intuition, your soul, your, your, your gut feelings, your heart, your passions, everything on the inside, this is what you need to, to tune into. You see how the king... Mm -hmm. I don't remember if that's... Oh, it's the first one. Okay. Snooze. 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 First alarm. Sorry. I have, I'm timed on YouTube. I'm not sure if everyone else is, but for some reason, all of a sudden, I have a sh uh, 20 some minutes, and I have to make sure I get everything wrapped up. So it's now time to move on to the Oracle card section of the reading. But the Queen of Wands is saying that you can step into your power by tapping into your internal, um, internal wisdom. I'm hearing internal wisdom. Two of Wands. So, okay. You have the Two of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You just need to spend some time alone and really think about what it is you want. Um, Scorpio, I know, it's, I keep looking at that Virgo card. I almost called you Virgo again. You need to tap into what you really want. That's where you're going to find your happiness. doesn't matter what's going on around you. doesn't matter who says what. You need to pick the path you want to go to on Scorpio. And that's what's going to bring you the happiness. So we're going to get a Sacred Destiny card here, Oracle card, to get a little extra guidance here. They were, they're remodeling the bathroom. I don't know if you can hear that banging. And I guess they're demolishing some more down there. Yikes. Um, so it's it's difficult because I'm upstairs. We do not have a bathroom upstairs. It's our bathroom da is downstairs. And then their bathroom is on another portion of the house. This is an old house. And this is the section I'm in. Is It was added on. Um, it's a long story. But anyways, so that's the pounding you hear. You may hear. Demolishing something. <laughs> gateway. Okay. The card you got is Gateway. And we're going to read from the book. I'll show you the CAD. Gateway. What I specifically heard here... Um, Scorpio, FG, nope, keep going, gateway, okay, um, what I specifically heard here is that the gateway to you moving forward and to achieving what you want in your life is from within, okay, your source of strength, wisdom, and happiness comes from within, and I think when you find the source of strength and wisdom within you, you will find your happiness. Uh, what you're looking for right now, at least for the month of August. So let's read from the book, okay? So the gateway. Magic is afoot. Wondrous events are unfolding. Profound revelations and inner illuminations are close at hand. This is an excellent time to take action on your visions for your future. A small amount of action now will generate much bigger results. Gateways to spirit are opening and there are places where the veil is especially thin. Fairies and elves are supporting you. Wonders are blossoming in your life. Watch for them. Open your heart to hallowed holy magical energy. The more you become aware of the small marvels in your life, the more they will grow in magnitude. Do you see what I'm saying? Do you hear what I'm hearing? Maybe not. Let me, let me elaborate here. The small marvels in your life. Find the positive things in your life right now. Look inside you. And I know they say positive affirmation. I have a very hard time with that. You know, if someone asked me, we had a thing, name something about yourself, three good things or something about yourself, and I'm like, eh, eh. Okay, so I get it. It's hard. But find those things. Because you, dear Scorpio, are your own source. Spirit is trying to tell you, you are your own source of strength, wisdom, and happiness. And that's what I'm hearing here for you, dear Scorpios. That's what I have for you. By getting in touch with that on your internal part of you, you're opening gateways to much more bigger things. And that opens. You see how this horse or unicorn is a unicorn. Magical unicorn is coming out from who knows where. Some sort of cave. And that's the hermit's in the cave, not here in this, this particular thing. But it's the going within. And now you're ready to emerge because you've gotten in touch of everything that you know. Oh, this is what I want. I can do this on my own. I have all this information. I've had many experiences in my life. I can do this. There you go. There's your gateway. And now Spirit's opening up. It's opening the gateway. And now you can explore and experience things in the external that can make you happy. So when you're happy, from, it's from the inside out. You're happy on the inside, it, uh, it flows outward. And that's when you see all the positive things come your way. Not saying there won't be some negatives, but you will have a, a, an emotional maturity that it's like, 
I am in tune with my what I want in my heart. And yes, there may be things that deter me, but it's not going to stop me. All right, the pounding's driving me nuts. <laughs> so I'm going to stop here, Scorpio. Uh, the, alarm, the second alarm's going to go off anyways. But anyway, Scorpio, this is what I have for you. If this did resonate, I hope it helps you in some way. If it did resonate, you like this reading, please do give me a thumbs up. The, the, um, if you like these, you know, these monthly Zodiac reads. It gives me some feedback. I know what people like and don't like. And so I'm told, oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. But that's okay because we still have a couple minutes. Um, it gives me a little feedback and I know what people do and do want, don't want. You know, that kind of thing. Um, do subscribe and join the tribe. Uh, tribe the tribe. Subscribe and join the tribe. I highly encourage that. And hit the bell icon button. If you're in a love situation, I do love readings. So that comes up. On weekends, I do weekly twin flame readings if you're into that. I do daily energies. So you can just kind of get an idea of where the energies are flowing throughout the week. You know? And if you hit that bell icon button, who knows when a reading is there specifically for you. You may hit on that and watch it and go, holy crap, there it is. Right there, right now. Um, and do comment. I would love if this resonates. How it resonates? In what ways? Thank you so much, all of you, for tuning in. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook. I'll be going live on Instagram very, very soon. Um, do come follow me there. Once I get a 1,000 subscribers, I do this on my phone, I'll be going live on YouTube. So that's coming soon, and a bunch of other things. Once I get a 1,000 subscribers, there's a whole bunch of things you can do on YouTube that you can't before that. So, anywho, be a part of it. Be a part of it. Um, but thank you all for tuning in. I appreciate it. I love you all. I appreciate the support from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and I hope you will join me again. All right, so everybody stay safe, stay positive, stay happy, and Scorpio, stay strong. You're your own source of strength, wisdom, and happiness. Remember that. All right, thank you all for tuning in. Peace out.